good morning my dear students how are you all i hope you all are good at home and enjoyed your winter break i welcome you all in today's class today i am going to continue with the explanation of one world written by saptar hashmi i hope you all have read this lesson and understood the meaning so let's continue so be ready with your textbook notebook and pen to note down important points and meanings he opened wide his half shut eyes the sadhu stroked his beard parted his lips as if to speak then pursued them tight as if he feared in a scared and little voice one question only sir he said how many years have you lived here in fatehpur king born and bred in this palace akbar said in this palace was i born in this palace akbar said i saw my very first morn who was king before you bacha trumpet sounded in whose glory now here in this stanza we can see that sadhu is asking some questions to king akbar he opened his half shut eyes and he parted his lips as he was about to speak then paused in this stanza what is the meaning of paused paused means brought lips together tightly in a small circle specially to show disapproval or doubt so he was scared also and talked in a low voice he asked akbar one question for how many years he has been living here so akbar was very proud he told in fatehpur i was born in fatehpur palace i have opened my eyes in this palace everything whatever i have started i have started in this palace itself then by hearing this sadhu asked again one question to king akbar bacha who was the king before you that means you are now here you are the king but before your birth who was ruling here who was the king next para oh sadhu ji you are so dumb don't you know my abba ji and before your father sir who lived here do you know grandpa babar shahanshah many called him so who lived here long before them all who ruled long before them all and when they when they died why did they leave things in ruins to fall their palaces their gardens their fortresses so tall tell me tell me akbar bhai some history let's recall they spent some moments of their lives on this earth called home and then moved on ahead alone each and every one in this stanza king akbar is saying to sadhu ji you are so dumb that you don't have common sense it is obvious that before me my abba ji was the king do you know who was the king before your abba ji he told in a very proud manner my grandpa babar he was called also shahanshah now sadhu ji is asking when they ruled here and all these belongings belonged to them why did they leave all the things and they went away alone now here sadhu ji is asking when they were here they ruled when they died they left their palaces their gardens their fortresses this building everything they left and why they have left all these things belong to them they took birth on the earth as it was their home and they left everything behind 
and went alone. When we die, we go alone. When we take birth, we come alone. So he is asking to King Akbar that why did they left each and everything in this world and went alone? You are right. You know, said Akbar Bacha. Oh, Saduji, Maharaj, I am not the only one to have ruled this land so large. Now, in these lines, we can see that King Akbar, he is saying, you are right. Whom he is saying? You are right. He is saying to Sadhu Maharaj that you are right. I am not only one who has ruled on this land. Next para, your fortress is an inn, my friend, the sadhu said. He spoke his mind where you may sit and rest a while and when you go, you leave behind. In these lines, sadhu ji is saying, your palace is like a inn. You have come on this earth, you can sit and rest for some time and then we have to leave behind. Not just your palace, but this world. And in it is some rest to take. Sadhuji is saying you are not going to just this palace, but this world also. So we cannot take anything. When a person dies, he dies alone. Where people going to and fro use as they will just for a break. What proof do you have to see? Do you have to say? All this belongs to only you. Nothing is yours. Not one thing. Not house or place or, sh no, or palace or shoe. Not the grass, not the leaves, nor the hives of honeybees. Not minaret or mighty wall. Domes, windows, doors so tall, not one item in this world is yours, my lord, my king. Think about it for a moment. It's a pretty simple thing. He was totally surprised that nothing is belongs to us. Everything we have to leave. When we die, we have to leave everything. Akbar Bacha was dumbfounded. Nothing could he say, for he at last had understood the key of life this day. The world belongs to everyone or else to none at all. He was totally surprised and astonished. He could not say anything. This was the secret he did not know. That made him trip and fall. The king was quiet. The sadhu smiled. He winked at him and said. So at last, Akbar realized that this world is for everyone. If I am having right of particular thing, then everyone, those who are living here is having right too. I cannot say this thing is belong to me because I will not be here forever. This was the secret he did not know that made him trip and fall. The king was quiet. The sadhu smiled. He winked at him and said. So Akbar was not aware of the secret. So because of his pride, his boastfulness, he used to fail in many things. Now we will have a twist in the poem. Let's see the twist. So Birbal was actually the sadhu. I fool you, king. I am Birbal. As his disguise, he shed. You mean you could not guess, my lord. How will you rule? He shook his head. Birbal disguised himself as Sadhu just to teach him a lesson, just to teach him the key of life. Akbar, Akbar said to Birbal, you took me for a ride. The sadhu has my grateful thanks for puncturing my pride. So, at the end, Akbar understood his mistakes, his folly, his foolishness.
so akbar is very thankful to birbal for puncturing his pride i hope you all have understood the interesting poem written by safdar hashmi thank you children have a nice day